Today I want to show you a quick method to work out Pythagoras. Uh, first of all what you need to do is square the two sides which you are given. The second step is you add the squares together if you're finding the longest side or if you're finding the shorter sides you need to subtract the squares and then the final step is to square root your final answer. Remember Pythagoras is for working out the length of a missing side in a right angled triangle. So let's have a look at an example. So we have two sides, um, one side is 3, one side is 7 and we need to work out the length of the longest side. The longest side is always opposite the right angle if you're unsure which one you're finding. So step 1, square the two sides which you're given. So if 3 squared is 9, 7 squared is 49. Uh, the next thing you need to do, since we're doing the longest side, you need to add these two squares together. So we do 49 and 9, which is 58. And then your final step, step 3, all we need to do now is square root the answer from step 2. So if you get your calculator... And the square root of 58 gives 7.6 centimetres to 1 dp. Uh, you can see that looks about the correct length for that triangle. So let's do one more example. So we've got this side of the right angle triangle which is 11 and we've got this side which is 4 centimetres and we need to work out this side here so again we know we've got to use Pythagoras because you've got two sides and we need to find a other side length in a right angle triangle so again let's apply the three steps so first of all you need to square the side so 4 squared is 16 11 squared is 121 Step 2 you need to be careful with. This time we're not finding the longest side. We're finding the other sides. So we need to subtract these two squares. So we do 121 minus 16. This gives 105. And then the final step again. All we need to do now is square root 105. So if you get your calculator for this one. So 105 square rooted is 10.2 and again that's to one decimal place.